At 95 years old, Sven Hansen is showing no signs of slowing down. Are you really 95 years old? I'm 95 last September, heading for 96. The World War II vet still drives himself around in his 91 Buick, and today's stop is at Aspenwood Elementary in Port Moody. Can I go in now? I got a few things I need to do before I get talking. Sven is here to talk to more than 200 students about his time in the Second World War. The whole purpose of it is to uh, uh, speak on my particular part and what I did during the war and not so much in the war in general and nothing about the Air Force and the Army. Mine is just the Navy and I have two different warships, all was on convoy duty in the North Atlantic. Sven was only 20 years old when he began his service in the Canadian Navy. Of course, you're always thinking about the submarines and firing a torpedo and that, but uh, you're young and you don't think about that. But the, the scariest thing really was the wind and the waves. There was a lot of bad, bad weather. The Corvette was a relatively smaller ship and it bounced around a lot. Waves would go over the top of it and it would just shake and roll. A uh, little bit scary, it was. During the war, he worked on two ships, decoding messages for the crew from 1943 to 1945. He takes great joy in sharing his story with the new generation. Today, his young audience had lots of questions. It feels special because I've kind of admired for a couple of years the veterans who fought. Lots of people died for Canada and we should honor them and have the moment of silence. They made you this? To show their appreciation, the school presented Sven with a special picture. It's an anchor filled with words the students came up with. Words related to him and other Canadian veterans. Sven has been sharing his story to large groups like this one here at Aspenwood Elementary since 2004. Now it's well over 100 speaking engagements and he plans on doing a few more possibly next year. By the way, now it's off to a local coffee shop to hang out with some friends. Thank you and see you next year. In Port Moody, Greg Harper, City News.